Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Carol, and it's time for me to read another story to you. This week, I'm going to read out of God is My Friend, A Kid's Guide to God. It's a book I found at Sunday school, and, I, and they're just little, like little stories, short stories, and I thought I'd read a few to you today, and then we'll save some and read some next week. So the first story I'm going to read is you can be yourself, and I'll show you the picture when I'm done reading. With a true friend, you feel free to be yourself. It's the same way with God. You don't have to put on an act for God to like you. To God, you're already a star. If you're not good at playing dodgeball, that's okay with God. If you think you have too many freckles, don't worry. God thinks you look just fine. If you're in a bad mood sometimes, God can take it. Do your best to be yourself, and you'll always be good enough for God. There's the picture of the little boy. See him? Oh, he, he looks like he's playing tennis, huh? All right, that was called You Can Be Yourself. The next one I thought I'd read is called A Friend Likes to Be With You. A little puppy dog wiggles and waggles all over when her owner comes home. She is so glad to see the person she loves. God feels that way about you. Time's a zillion. You make God happy just because you're you. God loves to see you and spend time with you. Sometimes, if you just sit still with your eyes closed and think about God, you can feel God smiling back at you. Being with your best friend makes your heart happy, and your best friend feels the same way about you. Isn't that a good one? That's a good one. I like that one. Oh, here's one. A friend likes to play with you. Your best friend loves to play with you, and God's playground is the whole world. You can play hide-and-seek with God. Look for God in the things you see outdoors. If you find a bird's nest, think about how God is like a mother bird. What about a sparkly rock or a snake skin? Do those remind you of God in any way? Whenever you enjoy yourself, God enjoys you too. When you ride your bike so fast, you can feel the wind in your hair. God is riding with you. You can't see God, just as you can't see the wind. But God is there having fun with you. Isn't that true, boys and girls? God is with you every moment of every day. Here's a good one. Oh, I forgot to show you the picture. <laughs> I think I, I think I forgot to show you the second picture, too. Here's a friend that likes to be with you. That's the last story I read. See, he's in his bed. Aw, oh, isn't that nice? Looks comfortable. There's his teddy bear at the foot of his bed. He's wearing a hat. Is he wearing a hat? No, that's his hair. I thought he was wearing a hat. <laughs> oh, a friend likes to play with you. There it is. Oh, look. Oh, what is he catching? <gasps> Looks like fireflies, right? Oh, wow. And it's got a little jar for if they catch them and they can put them in the jar. Do you ever do that, boys and girls, when you're out at night in the summer? It's kind of fun, but I always let the firefly, fireflies go. I don't keep them. A friend is fun to get to know. I'm going to show you the picture first because Miss Carol seems to forget to show you. Oh, look at that. What's that big bird? Oh! <gasps> Look at the feathers. Do you know what kind of bird that is? Yep, you're right. That's a peacock. Oh, and she looks like she's going to take a picture with a camera. Let's see what she's going to do. As you get to know a friend better, you find out all kinds of amazing things. You can get to know your friend God better by looking at all the wonderful things God has made and done. Look at the patterns on a butterfly wing. God is an artist. Think about how dolphins are able to talk to each other underwater. God is a genius. 
God controls all the stars and planets and all the galaxies and the whole universe. God is very powerful. God, your best friend, is an incredible genius, mastermind, amazing brainiac, awesome power, superhero, master of the universe. What a great friend to have. And boys and girls, I'm going to read a couple more. Here's a picture of the next one. This is called God is No Ordinary Friend. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we go. Oh, I see a Christmas wreath up. See it? Must be winter time. We can't see or hear God the way we can visit and talk with a regular friend. But we can sense God. When we look, listen, and feel God's love in our lives. You can see God's love in the beauty of clouds melting into the pretty sunset. You can smell and taste God's love in the yumminess of a chocolate chip cookie. I love chocolate chip cookies. They're so delicious. You can touch God's love in the warmth of a grandparent's hug. And you can hear God's love in music that wraps itself around your heart. So there's that picture again. I think that's, this is the grandma. And here's the music they're talking about that you can wrap yourself oh, with all the music. God's love with music. One more story and then I'll save some for next week. Here's a good one. A friend is always there for you. Oh, here's the picture. Oh, look at how many bunk beds there are. Oh, they're all sleeping in a bunk bed. Wow. Let me count them. One, two, there's four of them. Can you see them? Four children? Let's read about it. One of the greatest things about your best friend is that God is everywhere. You can take God to camp with you so you won't get homesick. God can be with you at all your classes in school, if you go to school. And you can, you can send God into your closet at night to check for monsters. If you're not going to see one of your parents for a while, God is there to hold you and take care of you. When you dance with all your heart in your recital, God is there to cheer you on, beaming with pride. God is closer to you than your own heartbeat every minute of every day. Don't we say that, boys and girls, that God is with you every minute. I always say every second, every minute, every hour of every day. God loves you, boys and girls. And I, and I, and I know that you love God too. Well, this week is Thanksgiving. And I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. It might look a little different this year because of COVID-19, but we have still many, many things to be thankful for and thankful to God for them because God created everything. So boys and girls, have a fun week and a wonderful Thanksgiving. And as always, until the next time, blessings to you all. Bye.